If you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Ooh, the house on the road, subscribers and followers. I made a video the other day where I, uh, I indicated that some folks think I'm crazy for living in a pop-up camper. And uh, someone commented, uh, RV Lee actually commented that they're not worried because uh, <laughs> I'm always clean shaven and my hair is never out of place. Well, I don't know how true that is, but I do understand what you're trying to say. I do, uh, you know, I do shave every time I take a shower, so two to three days. Uh, I do try to comb my hair, but the water around here has got so much metal in it, it always feels like straw. So, always wash my hair. Uh, which brings me to a, a point about hygiene and, and morale and keeping your spirits up. When I was in boot camp, they taught, boot camp I was in the Navy, they taught us that if you're ever taken prisoner of war, do your best to clean up every day as much as you can, you know, whatever they'll allow. Try to shave, you know, keep the, uh, keep the appearance of being in the military as much as possible because it keeps your morale up, keeps you thinking, keeps you, it's one less thing you got to deal with. You know, a fuzzy face, stinking, feeling grimy, just another thing to make you feel too miserable. But during the winter months, there was times it was very difficult to take a bath. And you do, you take a shower. And you do feel kind of grubby and yucky and just want to shower. I'm sure a lot of people know how that, that is, especially like if you've been working all day. You know, uh, Nick uh, from YouTube, uh, Facebook said a long time ago, not only are we surviving, we are thriving. And that's one of the things about it is we are thriving. We're not trying to give up everything we're not trying to give up showers i know there's a lot of youtube rvers out there that suggest that you could use wet wipes to keep clean you know uh, a bowl of water and some soap and that just does you just fine well i'm here to tell you no it doesn't like i said when it was winter time i was I was trying to you know, keep clean that way. And you don't, you don't feel good. Your hair's still nasty. Uh, your pillowcase gets nasty because your hair's all nasty. There's nothing good about it. No, when you come out here, try to keep your hygiene up. Don't give up on, on certain uh, things. You know, don't give up your diet. Don't give up your health. Don't give up your hygiene. Don't let things go simply because you live as a nomad. No, you got to figure out ways to make that work. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things being said on YouTube that I, I don't agree with. You know, I, I'm out here living in a pop-up camper, and I feel like that we have solid meals every day. We're not living off tuna in a can every day. No, we're having pork chops. And pork steaks and Bill is now going to start drilling on that one because he commented the other day about he couldn't pay attention after he said pork chops. But we have pork chops, meat, or uh, potatoes, and corn. So, uh, you know, we go for walks, keep our health up, take our vitamins every day. You know, we got a one a day, take some cayenne, garlic. Take our, you know, we're trying to keep, we're trying to thrive. We're not just wanting to stay out here and and look I met a uh, an individual that was living in a van and I, I could hardly stand beside him and you know he claimed that this was the lifestyle that he wanted it wasn't something he was forced into but it was so bad he, he really reeked so bad that when he used the uh, Volta toilet I would have to open the door to let it ventilate because it stunk so bad in there I, surely he smelled himself I mean when I when I uh, you know have went a little longer than I should without a shower through the winter months I'd smell myself right away and of course that's when I'm washing up the best I can 
There is absolutely no way I'm going to allow myself to smell. I still go out into town. I still do things. You know, might meet someone. I don't want them to think that I'm disgusting and that when you're a nomad, you have to give up on certain things to be a human. We've evolved. Humans have evolved uh, into a, a place where we like our showers regularly. And I know a lot of people will say that you don't need a shower. It's bad for you. A lot of people do it. And like the military said, it keeps your morale up. I get it. When, when it was cold and we were stuck in that camper and we weren't getting you know, our showers as frequently as we do in the warmer months, you know, things were getting kind of dreadful. I didn't like it. So my morale was going down. You know, as soon as I can get regular showers again, boy, I'm back to being myself. Boy, I'm all excited and happy. Uh, I shave when I shower. Very happy about that because I don't like whiskers. I mean, I got a little bit of whisker here, but that's just from one day. I don't like any of that. I want to be human. I, I want to feel normal, whatever normal is. And that was part of it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Click like if you like the video. And happy travels.